Yo, 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 top 30 fonts as of 2024 that all designers should have installed. Having a vast collection of fonts will greatly help you approach your client work or personal projects. In 2024, there's now smart fonts that shape shift depending on what letters are next to each other. This is very cool and I've included a few of those. There's also this psychedelic typeface trend that you've probably noticed literally everywhere at the moment. It's usually made up of very thin, fluid letters that are heavily stylized. So I've included my personal favorite lesser known fonts that resemble this aesthetic. I find that these are great for sparking off logo ideas as you can get really unique shape letters. And I don't know, it just works, it just does. Basically, this is my current go-to list of fonts that I think will help any artist regularly working with text. There's a font for every project in this pack, I promise. I'll be covering my top 20 free to use fonts and then another 10 of my favorite fonts that cost money. And of course, I'm not affiliated. These are just my personal go-to that massively speed up my design process because often the hardest task is locating the right font. I'm gonna start us off in Adobe, but after that, I'm also gonna share my favorite fonts within Kittle because all of these are 100% free for commercial use professionally. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button, drop a like, and comment down below. What is your favorite font of all time? So, 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 so without further ado, let's begin the countdown for my top 20 free to use fonts. Let's go. Via the link in the description, you'll have all of these fonts installed and along with them, a document displaying them to make things easier for you. So you don't have to go through thousands of fonts to find one that you like. I've done the same for Kittle. I would have put them all into one pack for convenience, but I actually couldn't find a few of them on the internet. So I've made a Kittle template instead. All of these typefaces are fair use both personally and commercially in your client work. Something to remember when making logos out of fonts is to use the font to inspire the logo and not just to type it out as it is. The best logos took inspiration from a selection of fonts to build the perfect shapes for the brand logo. Not just does doing that bypass any potential copyright infringement, but it will also give you or your client a totally unique design that stands out from just a regular typeface. So with these two font packs and templates, you should now easily be able to find some sick fonts to work with. And I'm gonna finish this video by creating some visuals myself using these fonts to hopefully inspire you guys. So I'll let you enjoy that with some music. And until the next video, that's me out. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bruh.